Welcome back. You're watching Business Morning on Channels Television. Remember, you can talk to us on any of our social media platforms. Uh, you can tweet at Biz Morning or at Channels TV for us to get your thoughts and comments on any of the issues we're talking about on the program. And don't forget, we've got a poll question as well for the week on Biz Morning Twitter handle. I'm at CTV Harriet. You can also tweet at me at B. Bolton. Be glad to mind your business. And you can also send us an email to businessmorning at channelstv.com. So we're talking about commodities now. A lot is happening, especially in the build-up to the festive season. A couple of uh, weeks' time, we're celebrating uh, Christmas and Boxing Day and, of course, the New Year. And in the weeks running up to this particular holiday, we've seen increase in domestic commodity prices. So let's talk to Amaka Ajebu, who is an economic research analyst with Financial Drifts Company, and take a look at where the market is. Good morning to you, Amaka. Good Thank you for coming on the program. Thank you for having me. So, uh, as I said, it's um, a few days to the festive holiday, mm -hmm. and uh, of course, uh, Financial Derivatives Company has actually pub published its uh, weekly report on uh, the, the state of the markets. So just yes. give us a, a sense of what the key issues highlighted in the report are. Yes, so from our reports, um, prices have, have gone up for some inelastic products like um, tomatoes, um, palm oil, rice. And this is expected in the festive season because um, consumer demand increases for celebrations and um, just in general the festivities. But what we've noticed is that the magnitude of the percentage increase is not as significant as it was in the, the 2015 year because of the recession that we have. So um, consumers have had to revise their expectations and only buy their immediate needs and not... Um, wants as well. So this is the first Christmas in a recession. Yeah. In a recession, how 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 the how the Christmas celebrations usually go? Because you know we have essential items that yes. make up. You know, like you already mentioned rice. You mentioned mm -hmm. oil. What about turkey? Because some people actually have turkey. Some have chicken. Yes. Some have goat. Yes. You know, beef or, or goat meat, mm -hmm. uh, as the case may be. Yeah. So prices of turkey and chicken have actually gone up five percent from um, month on month. And this is, this is expected because I spoke with um, some of my suppliers and they were like, yes, prices have gone up because of the exchange rates. People are not really patronizing us, but um, we're hopeful. So the recession has really hit these um, suppliers of these commodities. Now, in your report, you said expect further commodity price increases in December, mm -hmm. attributable to price in elasticity and increased transport costs. Yes. Now, just yesterday, the Central Bank of Nigeria asked banks to submit bids for special currency auction mm -hmm. for importers of petrol. Mm -hmm. Now, don't you think this will have any impact? Yes, it will. Typically, around this period, you also see fuel scarcity. So, um, the um, auctions will help mitigate this um, scarcity from occurring, but that doesn't really take away from the fundamental like structural prob problems we see in the transport sector. So people are really being hit by um, high transport costs. So yes, this will mitigate it a little bit, but not really um, remove this problem in the market. Hmm. What about for aviation? You also mentioned that aviation fuel availability yes. and pricing still disrupts air, air travel. So yes. do you think there's likely to be a drop in air travels and even with the well, the usual challenge we have around this mm. period of getting petrol for cars, do you think that will also uh, disturb or distort the uh, amount of vehicles we'll see on the road? Okay, so the, the um, issue surrounding aviation fuel is that most of these um, air travel operators um, buy this fuel on credits. So as an, as a, an oil-producing um, firm, I would rather channel my resources to the um, petrol and diesel markets when I can get cash on hand for my products. Whereas um, the, aviation, um, the aviation sector, sorry, they buy on credit. So that is what is, that has been the fundamental problem we've seen in this sector. So um, yes, we still expect delays, cancellations, um, higher prices, but some people just have to travel for the festivities. So. We so you're not, you're not traveling, is that what you're saying? Um, no, I'm not traveling. Okay, <laughs> but you see, so what other forms? So that means we have to think of innovative ways of enjoying ourselves yes. during this holiday, mm -hmm. not necessarily having to travel. Yes, so 
like my I'm taking a weekend off within Lagos. So there are so many other things you could do that wouldn't um, eat significantly into your pockets this period. But yeah, like I said, some people will still have to travel. So you will still see um, turnover in that sector, but the cancellation and delays has actually discouraged some from traveling. So that's for the aviation. What yes. about for uh, road transport? Um, we've seen an increased work being done across most of the road networks, yes. federal and state roads. Mm -hmm. So are we likely to see yes. more people, more visible uh, increase you know, in, the, in the number of p passengers you yeah. know, on roads? So that would be a substitute to air travel because of the ease of traveling and the you don't have delays or cancellations and issues like that with road transport. So we'll see that as a substitute for people who want to travel. And yes, so we see higher turnover in that sector. And then we see, of course, more people patronizing those, uh, uh, you know, the village, uh, villages along the route who, exactly. who always have very good, you know, food products that, yeah. that they sell. But coming back to, you know, domestic agriculture now, and uh, taking a look at uh, global oil prices, uh, global prices, I beg your pardon, mm -hmm. for commodities like wheat, corn, sugar, and cocoa. How is this affecting production and, and consumption? Yes, yeah, so um, according to an economist intelligence unit um, analysis, common global um, commodity prices have actually bottomed out. So as the fourth quarter rolls over to 2017, 2018, we see a mild recovery in global commodity prices. So what that means for Nigerians is that at the um, goods which we are net importers of will see an increase in their prices to capture this increase in global prices. So we see an increase in the price of wheat in the coming um, months into 2017. But um, um, products like cocoa, which we export, will also see an increase in the price. So that will be um, good news for us because that will be an increase in our um, um, in our fiscal revenues and forex revenues. But then you also see that uh, we've had a flattish trade around around the bag, a bag of rice, a 50 ki a kilogram of rice, which is uh, at 24,000 naira at least here in Lagos. Yes. And I'm sure you read the reports and you know newspaper uh, headlines about uh, importation of jollof rice. Yes. So this we still have these um, outliers, but in general commodity prices are um, expected to increase. So would that be, would that, would, would that, what's the rationale of importing rice when we know that uh, we have very good homegrown rice? And I'm sure you've seen some videos online yes. of uh, how some you know, countries use things like uh, cellophane mm. to make rice, the, the rice you feel that is imported. Mm. So, it all goes down to our basic problems, which is policy inadequacy and lack of investment in the sectors. Because if we have the um, opportunity and we have the resources to produce these grains, why don't we do that instead of increasing our import bills? So that's, it all goes back to the whole policy. What do, you, what do you think of the CBN Anchors program? That particular program, I'll be talking to a management consultant about it in just a bit, but that particular program is an initiative by the Central Bank of Nigeria so, to encourage you know, uh, cultivation of rice in some of those northern states or yes. states where mm -hmm. you, know, you, you, you primarily grow rice. What do you think about it? It is, a, it is an initiative. It is a scheme yes, to encourage rice production. Yes, it's a, it's a step in the right direction, but you have to know that this has been like in in certain periods of not um, having the right policies to help this farmer. So it doesn't happen in a day. So this is a step in the right direction, but we still have many, many more um, um, decisions to make and many, many more um, policy paths to um, But do you think explore. it's sustainable? Um, yes, I, I feel it's sustainable as long as everyone can keep to the agreements and everyone can keep to what they have to do to help boost hmm. um, production. So um, we've got, uh, what, today's Tuesday. Yes. So the next time I'll be having you talk about uh, agri commodities uh, will be Thursday. on Thursday. Yeah. But what's your outlook up until then? Up until then, the markets will remain relatively flat. So um, no... Um, erratic changes in prices, yes. Erratic changes in prices for what? The particular commodities, the, the usual suspects? The uh, usual suspects, yes. So that's Rice, um, gary, palm oil, chicken, turkey, yes. Okay. Well, Amaka, thank you so much for coming on the program thank you this morning. Me. Of course, uh, talking to us through what's going on in that segment of the market. Amaka Ajebu is an economic research analyst with Financial Derivatives Company.